solution solutions in this video we'll discuss office 365 administration basic topics and we'll cover the advanced uh, administration in the upcoming videos so for, for that first i open this office 365 or microsoft 365 home page so to see all the apps for microsoft 365 there is an app launcher in the left uh, top corner so when we hit this one we can able to see the apps here so it is showing couple of only if you want to see all the applications inside this office 365 we have to click this one so once we click that all apps we can able to see the apps like we have bookings calendar compliance dell and uh, of microsoft office related list we have onedrive onenote outlook plenty of applications were there you can able to see all the applications which will display in the left side so here if you want to go with any any of any of these admin admin centers we have to first click on this admin so once we click this admin it will redirect us to the microsoft 365 admin portal we'll see here it will show the major topics and the remaining things will show it in and show all so first we have to see this one users and i have made another video for creating uh, users and um, so you can see the deleted users also how you can restore the deleted users how you can connect with the guest users on what is contacts list everything you can able to see in that video so the groups also same as uh, users but uh, the groups will have a name and which contains uh, multiple people inside that and deleted groups also something like if you used some group or somebody deleted or you deleted that will go to the deleted groups that will keep for a while like 30 days it will keep and after 30 days this deleted groups will permanently delete from this deleted groups <clears throat> so this is about shared mailboxes if you want to use any mailbox for uh, like a group uh, then you can use this shared mailboxes a shared mailbox can used by a group of people like a support team to receive or send an emails you can use these kind of shared mailboxes and coming to the billing cycle here if you purchased some services from microsoft and then you can see the uh, list of that purchased services here by category view by category you can able to see so these are the uh, products which is available for this license so that's why you can able to see here and uh, this is about a kind of best seller for a small and uh, medium businesses if you want to select and you want to see the details of that particular product you can select and you can able to see and it shows the details and later if you wish to buy you can buy those products there is plenty of products available from the microsoft so if you want to purchase you need to go here and if you want to see your licensed ones you can able to see from here you can click this one your products and here i have two products so one is power automate another one is office 365 e3 trial license which i am using so i can able to see here and coming to the benefits also you can see from this option if you click this benefits it load currently i'm not available any benefits from this product so that's why i'm not able to see this so this is about again licenses what license you have and if you want to upgrade and uh, that kind of things the license related stuff so here how many power automate uh, things you have used to which is assigned and available licenses for the office 365 e3 you can able to see if you requested anything or if you want to request something you can do it from here so currently i don't have any request in pending and then auto claim policy is available this auto claim policy save you and your users time by allowing them to claim a product license the first time they sign in to an app so when the first time they log in and they can able to see those uh, claims or claims policies which is assigned to the users you can that will be shown from here so if you want to create any policy you can able to create from here but i don't have any claim policy which is created so that's why i'm not a, i'm not creating here so coming to the bill bills and payments if you if you did something for example a month back and two months back you want to get that invoice you can able to get that invoice from here 
and then this is about the payment methods and the, what are the payment payment methods available in Microsoft 365 you can able to see from here okay so if you want to add any payment method you can able to add, add a payment method is it a visa or mastercard and card number first name last name and so on so so on so you have to fill and then click save that will save in the payment methods and later when you are doing an a payment and you can select that and you can pay from your source maybe a card or any other source currently there is no billing profile created yet so that's why it's, it is empty here so if you have couple of billing accounts and you can able to see the billing accounts here billing accounts accounts manage your purchasing relationship at microsoft each billing account contains defining into defining info about your organization this is about that which we already did for one that's a trial and that's why it is showing only one here the payment methods just before we saw here the same option here also you can able to hit this and it will open a window to enter your payment details and it will store for your future purpose and when you are doing the payment and you can simply select and then somehow like OTP kind of things or email kind of things they'll send the payment will happen so this is about billing notification to whom this billing notification should be sent to and then the invoice should be in a PDF format and uh, so this admins who are the admins in that particular tenant and those will get a related uh, payment related information in into their emails so if you want to change the billing admins you can if you want to change the global admins you can able to do that assign one of these roles by adding a new account which means you can able to add a new account and then you can assign this admin role to that particular user also so that is about billing related stuff okay this is about setting up your environment so here we if you have any migrations like bring emails data and content over from another service and manage it all in one place if you want to do like that you can copy and you can migrate the things this is about sign in and a security related get your custom domain set up no i'm not done so that's why it's not started it and if you want to do you can do and let users reset their own passwords if you want to uh, set up this one you can do that limit admin admins to to the access they need so this is about sorry I'm not, i don't want to click it so this is about limit admins to access they need so here the mention account accounts with the global admin role are twice as likely to be attacked by hackers see and have almost unlimited access to data and resources so we recommend having no more than four global admins and reassigning the other two less permissive admins role with only access needed to get their work done so which means uh, maybe if you have a lot of data in in your tenant or some uh, confidential data if you have in your environment it's better to keep only four global admins not more than that so if you have more global admins there is a chance there is a chance of occurrence to attack by hackers so that's why they are recommending that to do that so if you want to get started you can do that or it's not required for this environment because i don't have much users it's it just a test tenant so we have some policy and compliance we have apps and the email related stuff we have meeting and voice related especially meetings and voice will work especially with the microsoft teams so that is about setup if you want to do any kind of settings for your tenant for security purpose you can come here and you can do these settings and so these are the major options available here so the last one is show all option when you hit this show all option you can able to see all the options related to microsoft 365 admin center so here we have an, a support uh, option for example you, you lost your data and you cannot able to retrieve back or maybe unfortunately some sites were gone some sites were deleted 
and you are not able to see in the deleted sites and they delete it from there and you want to raise a request for the data you want to raise a request for the security concern or maybe any kind of bugs you can raise a ticket with the microsoft and uh, tell about as a problem and then you can contact the support center or if you created one ticket and you want to see that particular ticket you can come back and see this view service request and if you have any service request which is open and you can able to see here if microsoft is responding back to you you can able to see that details also here and also a mail will trigger to your your email and coming back to the settings we have couple of settings here and each and every setting have multiple options here coming to the domains now when i create this tenant i have created with a default domain name or if you want to add a new domain you have to click this one and then you have to enter your domain name or if you want to learn more about these domains then you can watch this video also this video will explain you complete things about how you can add the domain into your microsoft 365 admin center and then once you add the domain into your tenant and then you can also utilize that tenant inside your organization so this is about the search related stuff and there is plenty of things to discuss in this so we'll discuss in a different video how this search and intelligence will work in sharepoint online and microsoft 365 so we'll discuss deeply about this this is about organization settings for example if you created a uh, if you created this tenant and you you want to maintain your organization structure or organization details whatever it is maybe your calendars everything you can come here and you can you can set up the organization profile here and you can give custom app launcher if you have themes also you can you can mention your data location and help desk related stuff here and this is about integrated apps if you integrated any apps with your microsoft 365 you can able to see here or if you want to get the apps just click get app now you can able to see plenty of apps you can categorize also and then those things will appear here you can see if it is free you can utilize if it is um some cost related also you need to check before using that is there any licensing part involved in that you need to check and also products you can see if it you just want to see sharepoint related you can see sharepoint related or other products also based on that you can choose and you can add the app into your microsoft 365 admin center <clears throat> See, this partner relationships basically it works with a if you have any authorized partner to your organization so you can collaborate with that particular organization you can work from here and if they have a same kind of office 365 setup and this setup we discussed and then coming back to the reports we have two types of uh, reports is available one is productive uh, score another one is usage related reports so as of now we are not enabled this productivity score uh, uh, what I can say reports yet so if you want to enable you can able to enable from here for usage also when you click usage the usage is already activated by default and you can able to see the, how many active users were available and uh, activities how much activities they did is there any file stored or uploaded transferred those kind of things will store here you can able to see that reports from view more when you click view more it will open that particular report see you'll have users related activity related services related and uh, you can see this users info also if you want to download into your system and then you need to use this export one when you click that export one it will export into your local system with a csv format in that csv format you can able to see the statics
okay it's taking time it's due to that particular authentication so that's why it's taking that okay let it about that i'll check that one later so the last one is health related so you can able to monitor the tenant health uh, service so for sharepoint exchange online for sharepoint online there is one advisory and the remaining things are healthy so we'll see this sharepoint online advisory when you click the dot advisory it will show that admin seeing sharepoint online storage quota changes being reverted after two days so it is something like that if you want to see that advisory reports you can able to see it's something like a monitoring type so if you have any issues you can see that issues from here so this is the message center so this message center uh, it will give you the high level of overview of the planned change and how it may affect your users and links out to more detailed information so here from here you can able to see that information the first contact safety tip setting in anti phishing policy that's in exchange online and uh, this is related to sharepoint online this is related to microsoft teams onedrive and microsoft 365 suit related information also you can able to see in the message center so if you have anything archived you can come back and you can see i don't think so we are not archived at anything so these are the information related to the manage center so for example if you want to see complete details on it you need to click that so when you click that it will show the message summary what they mentioned actually the complete details you can able to see from this message center the next one is network connectivity so it's showing we need more data to generate a network connectivity insights but it's not much important coming to the health it just show the reports based on that reports you whatever the things you want to perform and you can able to perform either maybe or low performance related or if you are not satisfied with the uh, provider uh, things you can raise a concern so okay it's about that and this is about admin centers i'll show you all admin center when you click this one you can able to see this azure active directory compliance exchange power automate office configuration search stream one drive power up security sharepoint teams and yammer so you can able to see all the admin centers from here so for example if i want to open the sharepoint admin center it will give the site url with the dot sharepoint.com but it is an admin center and you just need to give an hyphen and admin when you type this admin and the site name you will get that particular site sorry this admin only opens the shape and admin related stuff and if you remove this one it will open the site collection of that tenant so here we have a couple of options and we will discuss deeply about what is actually the shape and admin center and what what are the advantages inside that how you can manage your shape and environment from this admin center we can able to see so like that we have a couple of admin centers here you can able to see and come coming back to here so this is the site action uh, office 365 action gear or microsoft 365 action gear you can able to settings you can able to see the themes and you can change the theme and based on that only the, th the theme will be available for the entire site and this is about language and time zone if you want to change the language or time zone you can click you can change or if you want to change the password you can able to change and this is the contact preferences and you want to update your contact information you can and there is a support pin also available and currently it is unavailable you can generate the pin and you can add into it here so that is about an, a brief introduction about microsoft 365 admin center we have all different 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 type of admin centers available inside microsoft 365 we'll discuss each and every one uh, like 
Azure Active Directory complaints each and every admin center will discuss in the upcoming sessions and in that we'll discuss what is the advantages with that is there any is there any other options are available over this we can see in the upcoming videos so that's about it thanks for watching my video